When I was little, I ate a lot of food. I was just as picky as the next kid, but when I found something I liked, I loved watching the surprised looks on people's faces as I, this tiny girl everyone underestimated, stuffed my face eating just as much as my older brother. Thanksgiving 2008. Cue the family trip to Lake Tahoe. If there was one thing I was looking forward to this year, it was stuffing my face with mashed potatoes. So when the time came and people started serving themselves, there was no way I was about to be upstaged. I scooped up the fluffy, buttery goodness and plopped it all onto my plate. I dug in, waiting for awestruck faces. This was it. This would top all the other bean and cheese burritos, chicken nuggets, and cheeseburgers I'd eaten over the years. Little did I think about the fact that there were enough mashed potatoes on my plate to feed all but 15 other people. Nor did I think about the fact that I'd already eaten the rest of my Thanksgiving meal. Before I could get much more than a bite, I crashed. I was in a deep food coma. As for everyone that might have also wanted some mashed potatoes, Needless to say, that was not my most popular year with my cousins. To this day, I still haven't lived down the Thanksgiving. My family went mashed potato list because of me. Why couldn't I just enjoy my meals? What made me want to turn everything, even something as simple as eating dinner, into a competition? I still like to think that when I find something I love, I wholeheartedly commit to it. But as much as I love to impress people, I don't need to be the best at everything. Mealtime isn't just about what's on the table, it's who's at the table. It's a time we should prioritize, taking a break from our separate lives, and for once having nothing to do but connect.